This is build up your understanding question 25. So question is uh, from the rotational motion. Question is there is a light rigid rod displaced on frictionless horizontal floor and blocks of mass M and 3M are attached to the end of the rod. In book 2M is written, but in diagram 3M was given. So I have corrected that. Uh, end of the rod with the help of light inextensible cords. So these are two cords. Now, if a horizontal force F is applied perpendicular to the rod at its midpoint, this is the force. Then we have to find out acceleration of the midpoint of the rod. So first solution I'm presenting, that is the standard one. Here, from this solution, your revision of acceleration of different different points in rigid body, right? that you can revise those concepts from the solution. Now, so here, what I'm going to do, since these are two strings, so here, let us say tension is T1, here tension is T2. So acceleration of this block will be T1 by M, right, F by M. Acceleration of this block will be T2 by 3, fine. Now, if I draw the FBD of rod, then this force F is applied, and there will be T1 and T2 here. Now, since rod is massless, so net force on the rod will be zero, and net torque should also be zero. This is what uh, I have discussed in the previous video. So now, if you write net force equal to zero, that gives you F minus T1 minus T2 equal to zero. But if you write net torque about this point, midpoint, net torque about every point should be zero because it is massless rod. If net torque is not zero, so from that equation, torque equal to I alpha. If since I is zero, that forces torque to be zero for any value of alpha, right? So this I have explained in the previous video. I will give link of this that video in the description also. So this is then from this now, net torque should also be zero about every point. So I'm choosing this point, midpoint, and writing net torque zero. You can see very easily that if you write net torque equation zero, you get T1 equal to T2. So then what do you get? T1 equal to T2. T1 plus T2 was F and T1 equal to T2. That means T1 equal to T2 is nothing but F by two, right? So now after getting this thing, from again, the string constraint, remember there was a string here and there is a block here. So from a string constraint, acceleration in the direction of a string will be same because the velocity of this block is zero right now. So velocity of this block is zero, then acceleration of this is since F by 2M, here also acceleration will be F by 2M. Its acceleration was T1 by M, since T1 comes out to be F by 2. So acceleration of that point is F by 2M. So I'm removing this now. So this is F by 2 from the same logic. This is F by 6 M F by 2 divided by 3 M. We have to find out acceleration of midpoint. So we can use this formula now. Since every point on the rigid body performs circular motion with respect to any other point on the rigid body. So with respect to this point, this point is also doing circular motion. This is also doing circular motion. So with respect to one point, any other point of rigid body will have two acceleration, centripetal and tangential. Right now, there is no velocity, just off, we have to find out just after forces apply. So there is no centripetal acceleration because omega is zero, only tangential acceleration, right? So that is what I've written. So if we stand on that point, then this point you will see will be performing circular motion. Since there is no centripetal, only tangential. So relative acceleration of B with respect to A will be L alpha, right? That is what I've written. This is what this means. You know? So acceleration of B with respect to A is L alpha. So B with respect to A will be this, F by 2M minus F by 6M. This acceleration will be given to this in opposite direction. This is L alpha, so I have found alpha. This is basically this equation. Alpha is this, once you know alpha, now from the same logic, you can find out the acceleration of midpoint with respect to this, which is acceleration of O is equal to acceleration of A, alpha cross R, right? Same thing actually, written in a different way. If you understand, you can very easily understand this way also stand here. This will be doing alpha is in this direction. So this will have now, let me write in another color. This will now have L by two alpha with respect to this, right? So this, then if you want to find the acceleration of this with respect to it, you add the acceleration of this. You know? That is what I'm doing. So acceleration of O is the acceleration of this plus L alpha by two, relative acceleration, circular motion concept. Now L alpha by two, if we calculate from here, then, and if you add these two, you get F by three. This is the answer given. This is one method. Now another method, this method, uh, I am in exam, if suppose, if you get this question in exam, I will prefer you solve from the second method, which I'm going to present now. But this method I have taken intentionally so that your these all formulas, which are very critical formulas, very critical concept, 
you can revise all these concepts from this method. Now, another method is a little bit short as compared to the first one. Since from rigid body constraint, from the since rod is light, we know that here tension and here also tension should be present. This is a requirement of net force equal to zero and net torque equal to zero. So if you know that tension is present in this rod, this string and this string, then you can say that this entire thing is behaving like a rigid body. So if this is behaving like a rigid body, then we can apply torque equal to I alpha and F net equal to MACM equation. So first find out the center of mass of the center of mass will be here. That calculation I have not shown. You can apply M1 X1 plus M2 X2 divided by M1 plus M2. So from here, center of mass is at L by four distance. So acceleration of center of mass is A, and then there is alpha like this. How to find A? F net external is equal to MAC, right? Most important equation. Almost entire chapter is of uh, center of mass and rigid body works on this equation. So ACM is equal to F net force divided by total mass. This is the acceleration of center of mass here, right? Now alpha, how do you find, right? Torque equal to I alpha about center of mass, safest point. So in translation plus rotation also, you can always write torque equal to alpha about center of mass because even if there is a pseudo force, then that will be applied on center of mass, its torque will become zero. So I hope you know this. So about this point, now I'm writing the torque. So what is torque? F into L by four and I. What is I? 3M into L by four whole square, 3M into L by four whole square, M into 3L by four whole square alpha. So once you get alpha from here, a you have, acceleration of this point will be A plus L by four alpha. That also gives you F by three M. So from both the methods, you get the same answer. Both methods are almost the same thing only, right? So that's it, that was my analysis. Thank you, thanks for watching. If you have liked this analysis, please like this video and please share this channel with your friends also. Thank you very much, all the best. We'll meet in next video.